Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. Okay, so we've got, we got the Smart Pro out and I'll tell you what we've done to get to this stage. So, first thing I've done is I put it on charge for a few hours. Second thing I did is I got to the back of it, plugged in the USB, plugged it into the computer, used the uh, MVP uh, uploader where you do all your um, uploading of tokens and things like that. And basically I just updated all the firmware, got everything ready uh, to go. I did watch another video from um, Advanced Diagnostics and it says basically you really got to plug in this little card that comes in cellophane and um, and do it that way, read all the instructions and things like that. They urge us not to just jump in there and start playing around like any other type of electronic device. And for me, that kind of steals the fun. So I decided to just plug it in, um, power it up, do an update and boom chakalaka, she works pretty good. So that's um, the way I've done it and I'm just going to take you through and um, tell you a few things in the manual because um, I actually did read this one. I had a bit of time when I was on the pooper, so I read that one. And um, basically at the back here, there's nothing really to report. You know, we've gone over that. There's not much, you know. Oh, one thing I did find very interesting was this part right here. You're not allowed to hang that on the back of the steering wheel. It says it actually gets pretty hot here. I mean, this is probably bigger than the computer that NASA has when they sent a man to the moon. And it's got little cooling fins and stuff like that, but you can't clip it on the steering wheel which I was a little bit annoyed and it says it might get a little bit hot too not to leave an extreme heat and not to use like a football don't kick it, don't drop it, don't spill it um, talk nice to it if you think it's upset buy it flowers pretty much or buy it some more tokens so that's uh, what the instructions kind of said um, oh yeah, if you're entering your wrong passcode too many times it's going to start locking you out try it once or twice, oh, sorry three times you'll be out for a minute and yada 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 gets longer 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 Okay, uh, a few other things. This is a touch screen, so using sharp implements like screwdrivers to try and press the, the numbers is not advised. Okay, I think we all got that one. Um, yeah, don't leave the screen idle for long periods of time as it might uh, result in ghosting. I mean, you would need to leave that image on for years before you're going to get that. But anyway, it's in there. Don't muck around with the battery. Lithium Island, if it's short and damaged, don't use it. Uh, what else? Notes, usage tips, additional information, really nothing. So, that, so that's what I was kind of talking about there. A bit disappointing you can't clip it on the steering wheel. I mean, you've got to sit there with that on your lap. Uh, it's not, you know, it's got a little caution hot surface there too. All right. Um, yeah, so that's basically the walkthrough of the instructions as much as I read the instructions. So what I'm going to do now, I've uh, done a previous video on... Um, on actually what's in the box and just um, unpacking it and um, now what we're going to do is we're going to go through the whole menu okay so if you want to look at the whole menu and what type of cars it has now for this particular machine I'll just let you know I didn't select a region yet and the reason I didn't select a region is because um, I wanted to show everything that's got so what I'll do now is I'll just quickly log in to show you all we'll go over all the menus later on but I just want to go over right now um, all the extra sort of menus. So put in the passcode. I'm going to have to blank this out. But anyway, two four. Okay. Once you put in your passcode up at the top here, you can see your uh, well the the token sort of thing, and it tells you how many tokens, how many 24 hour tokens you got. So first first cab off the rank vehicle selection. We'll go through that in depth in a minute. Now it did come with this um, protective coating over the top here, but you might be able to see it. There's like a hair under mine and a big crinkle. So somebody's obviously peeled it off and, and look, there's a little bit of fluff under there too. So obviously somebody's peeled it off, had a go and put it back on. Anyway, vehicle selection we'll get to. Uh, programming, no, OBD. So that's it there. I mean, of course we're not connected to anything. So we'll go, we'll go over all the car selections later on. In the actual car selection here, I'll just quickly show you when you do pick one, you can actually pick by the, so here we go here, we're selecting by the car. If we flick this little switch across, we're going by the type, and that's that little engine, engine light there. It also can reset the service as well on some particular vehicles, and on some vehicles it even gave you a little image of the key, which is pretty cool. Okay, up the top here we have the voltage of the car, that's here. We have whether or not we're connected. We have our Wi-Fi, we have the battery, and we have the time so that we can adequately 
char adequately charge the customer for our time. So let's just get out of there. I'll do the menu in depth in a moment. Transponder. So here we are here. Identification. This is where you've got that part that sits on the back, the key reading thing, which we don't have. Identification. You'd be able to basically put the smart antenna on the back, push start, and it will do that. Uh, transponder production. Um, would have been nice if they had a few more names and things like, um, but I mean, I guess we can work it out from there. Philips Crypto 2, you know, Password Mo, Chrysler, Renault, Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi 46, 128, Texas 128 down the bottom. So these you can actually produce. Um, so that's kind of good with that smart antenna. 60, 62. I mean, I'd like to go side by side and see what it compares to the VVDI, but we'll see how that goes. So I'm just going through all the menus there. So that's all the transponders you can generate if you've got the smart antenna. Let's go back to the home button here. There's no games on this whatsoever. There's no like little snake or slirio or anything. So I'd have to have to when it asks for feedback. I'm going to say you should put a little game on there. We can play when we're in the in the lockout of some cars. You know. All right, so Wi-Fi, pretty self-sufficient. You know, why, what is Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi is a network. You pick whichever one. Wi-Fi, you turn it on, you disable it. Hook it up to your phone if you want. Uh, region. So these are all the regions here. At the moment, I haven't selected one. So that way, it's going to show me every car, basically, that I can do that's actually in the system. Languages. Once again, everything from Arabic down to down to everything else. English was pretty much automatically selected when I got this machine. All the way. So Arabic down to Turkish basically. User, so I'll be blanking this data out here so you can't see it. That's just basically my username. It doesn't show my password. Um, and I'm enable feedback. So after each pro, like I did just try it in the program car and it says, um, do you want to leave feedback? So they are asking for you to leave feedback all the time. So I wonder if they're reading it or not, or who knows, but that's a pretty cool little feature because it means that at least if there's something not working, if you're leaving feedback, the engineers are going to kind of see that. So display. Okay. So we've got our brightness here. That's pretty cool. Change the wallpaper. Uh, let's see if that works. I went to sky. Oh, there we go. We're, we've got sky background now. So that's um, the wallpaper. Ooh. Okay. I think I prefer sky. Yeah. Sky is good enough. Look at that. Okay, no sexy ladies or anything on the back. We didn't get that option here. See, it doesn't say super hot female or super hot guy. You know, if there's chicks out there or females that program keys, and there is, there is female locksmiths out there. So, you know, we should have super hot guy and super hot girl. So then we could select between them or super hot car. Some people get there. They like to look at cars more. Uh, general down the bottom. Okay, so there's our serial number which will be blanked out. Our battery level, sorry, mains battery and system battery. So that's very interesting. It looks like maybe there's two batteries in the thing. I mean, the size of it and weight of it is quite possible. So I can't really see anything else to really poke and prod around at. Um, I can't show you the token setting. I thought there was something there. Uh, we've got updates as well. We're pretty much up to date there. Uh, my smart profile okay here we go sorry I did miss one my smart pro okay pay uh, token bank there's none in the token bank because I got an upgrade once I update this I'm then meant to plug in my MVP so I can image whatever's on my MVP so I can get a credit for my tokens but I didn't have any tokens on my MVP this one here is 24 hour unlimited token bank I don't have any on that either what I do have is the uh, three month one because I just bought this which I believe is this this thing up the top here so there's uh, pay as you go unlimited token plan active until this date which is this corresponding date up the top October 31st and then software purchased now these are all the software that came with the machine um, so whether or not they're going to be useful or not I don't know I mean I haven't done um, you know any rover ever really no one's ever said oh I've got a rover and you need to help me make a key just not a popular car here. Daewoo, Toyota, Toyota Lexus, and then we start getting down into all the crosses here, basically, that um, all the extra software we don't have. So as you can see, there's a lot of them, and each one of them costs you money. Um, you know, they are quite expensive. I haven't 
priced them up exactly but they seem to be coming out with new ones all the time and they're like I don't know 500 or 1000 bucks per module and as you see there it's just impossible to own them all and I mean I do know some people that do own them all and they've been able to move from there you know move them along as the systems move along so they never need to rebuy them but on saying that I wouldn't be buying one unless um, I was using it every second day um, Hyundai would have been nice to have and then you've uh, like Subaru I don't do a lot of Toyota Lexus you know it'd be interesting to know which actual makes and models they're talking about because there's so many of them so many different formats different makes and models different ways of doing it and this can't do any EEPROM programming that I know of but it will have the key coil on it so which was interesting because I'll just take you through a quick little walk here I thought I'd have a look at it we'll go down to Toyota and we'll uh, I'll just quickly show you like on a car that I thought was definitely um, an EEPROM type so let's just go uh, Camry a really old Camry old as you can get 2006 to 2009 um, yeah maybe a little bit earlier so uh, not listed there 2006 so that actually is the one you can plug into I was thinking 98 2000 back then can I show you an example all right so as you see now we're into the Australia Australia's listed over here if I scroll back up we're in Asia over here and then we've got all the cars so because I haven't selected my region um, I'm coming up with all the cars to select the region I can go to this part here where it says all I can come down here and I can just select Australia and then disappear all now it's filtered to actually just Australia so I'll come over here and I could pick Camry this one bladed and that's the type of information so some of the things which I found were kind of good was you got all the information on screen pinko do I need it will it read it what type of key blank down the bottom um, a few other things as well like this is the G system photos were pretty cool but it's not really giving you much photos you know like that's kind of all we're getting there and that's where we're getting there I mean that's probably all you need as well a lot of them I, I found you didn't actually get photos so a few tips there as well which is handy to have I mean on the MVP it's not giving you these type of tips and that's one of the reasons for the upgrade because it kind of comes with a bit of a help file in there as well with the photos and you get the latest technology you get the latest software and if you're going to invest 5,000 sometimes it's worthwhile investing another 5,000 so you, you've actually got the latest and greatest and you've got access to everything that you really expected with the first machine but now since they've superseded it it seemed like a reasonable type of investment to have to do so we'll go down to the remotes as well no information on the remotes don't know why there should be uh, reset service light as well maybe that will kick in later on uh, program we push any of these buttons here so identification fault codes because we're not actually hooked on and then we've got all the options there program keys re remove keys erase keys learn keys master keys program remote um, identification all that so all that comes in when you push the connect button and you actually connect so that's just a quick uh, poke and prod at the smart pro uh, that's going over all the buttons apart from the actual key uh, key programming menus which we'll go over now but that's basically every way we could poke and prod it I even tried for the uh, boot up commands where you hold down part of the screen turn it on and off hold down this corner of the screen turn on and off see if I could boot it up in a some sort of Windows uh, Windows format or something because what actually happens when it boots up uh, you just get a black screen takes you straight to the password but I mean I don't know what system it's actually based in but I reckon there would be a little back door somewhere where you could hold down a particular part of the screen and then boot it up boot it down a lot of a lot of devices have that and who knows if this has that or if they've got some hardware to actually take it into its um, operating level anyway that's as much poking and prodding as um, in this video nothing else really you need to know about there you know that's where your key reader goes in that slides down the back warning it might get hot and your power pack goes in there and that's pretty much it you can even set the background I was a bit disappointed we can't set our own background you know that would have been nicer where can you upload any file that's one thing I know is you can't load up any file of this. Can't load up anything whatsoever. So looks like we'll have to stick with the the sky or the red, and that's probably about it. 
all right thanks for watching now um next video we're going to go over every single menu it's got so we can see every single single little car that it's got as well okay oh yeah one more thing i didn't find here is i didn't find any add-ons so for nissan and things like that cracking uh the nissan codes i didn't actually find that it might be in there under each particular model it might allow you to walk through but i didn't actually find it like you know start up the mats calculator or anything like that which was a bit disappointing um, but here's just basically going off the car list here and it will require the pin code on a lot of these uh, where are we pin code for key pin code pin code required yes but there's no actual like you know plug-in for that so um, on another one there um, I just did a Citroen actually and the Lonster actually found me the pin code this particular one when I tried it it didn't actually find me the pin code I had to use the pin code from last time I'd use the Lonster so I'm not too sure what's going on with the plugins there um, but yeah we'll have to wait and see what happens with that okay thanks for watching